Currently Kirkland, your source for city news and events in the community. With Connie Terman at the news desk. Stay up to date with weekly news reports and what's happening in Kirkland. Now, here's Connie. Welcome to Currently Kirkland, where every week you can engage with your community by discovering the latest developments in, around, and about your city. I'm Connie Terman. Memorial Day is a day of remembrance for those who have died while serving in the United States Armed Forces. As a special honoring, the city's parks maintenance crews place American flags and crosses at the headstones of veterans who were buried at the Kirkland Cemetery. Close to 400 flags were placed this year. Many families visit the cemetery on this day and appreciate the extra touch by the city. If you happen to be in downtown Kirkland on Memorial Day, you probably saw bicyclists, lots of bicyclists. Over 1,100 of them took to the streets for the annual Seven Hills of Kirkland ride. Cyclists chose their preferred route, the traditional route that covers about 40 miles with 3,000 feet of climbing, the metric century route with 11 hills and 4,600 feet of climbing, and the full century course, which takes riders through rural King County, up and down 14 hills with about 7,000 feet of climbing. This is the 13th year that Seven Hills has been held in Kirkland. The event raised $85,000 for the Kirkland Interfaith Transitions in Housing, or KITH. Adopting a pet should be fun and exciting. After talking with your family members and deciding that you want to adopt a cat or a dog as a new member of the family, Regional Animal Services of King County has pet adoption specialists available to help you find your new best friend. A great way to meet some prospective four-legged friends is to visit the King County Pet Adoption Center in Kent. Prior to visiting, you can view a list of available pets on the county's website. After you select a pet that you are interested in, you'll need to attend an adoption appointment, which is often on the same day you select your pet. Your pet adoption specialist will arrange for spaying or neutering, help you understand current laws and regulations, and give you helpful hints on pet health and behavior. Included in the adoption are a King County pet license, initial vaccination, spaying or neutering, worming of kittens and puppies, feline leukemia tests for cats and kittens, and microchipping. For more, see the information below. In the second series of Ask Kelly, Kelly Farron, Recycling Coordinator, shares with you how best to recycle CFL bulbs and electronics. Dear Kelly, I know you can't throw away electronics and CFL bulbs, but how should I recycle these? Great question. If you live in a house in Kirkland, you can recycle these items curbside. If you have electronics such as computers, laptops, old cell phones, just contact Waste Management 24 hours before your service day and they'll recycle these from your curbside. Same goes for CFL bulbs. If you have a CFL bulb you need to recycle, you can contact Waste Management and they'll send you a CFL bulb recycling bag. Stick the bulb into the bag, seal it up, and then you can stick this on your recycling cart on your service day and Waste Management will recycle this for you. To contact Waste Management, call them at 1-800-592-9995 or visit their website at www.wmnorthwest.com slash Kirkland. Here you can tell them that you have CFL bulbs you need to recycle or request an electronics pickup. If you live in an apartment or condo, these services are not available for you yet, but there are many recyclers that will take electronics and CFL bulbs to recycle. Visit takeitbacknetwork.org to find recyclers in the area that will either pick up these items or find some drop-off locations near your home. Thank you for doing your part to keep electronics and CFLs out of the landfill and to recycle them properly. For more information, visit www.kirklandwa.gov recycle or call Kelly at 425-587-3812. 
Remember, you can access any episode of Currently Kirkland on demand on the city's website, on your mobile device, and on YouTube. We'd also love to hear from you. If you have any news tips, suggestions, or comments, please send them to kirklandtv at kirklandwa.gov. Thanks for watching Currently Kirkland. We'll see you next week.